Windcraft currently has eight different tiers of items. Normal, Unique, Rare, Set, Legendary, Fabled, Mythic, and Crafted. While they may not individually be very powerful, set items feature a unique mechanic where if you wear two or more pieces of the set, you gain extra bonuses on top of what the gear would normally provide. These bonuses are unique to each different set and increase relative to the number of pieces you are wearing. In this series, I will be showcasing and analyzing every armor set in Windcraft. This is Set Spotlight. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 13 of Set Spotlight. In this week's episode, we'll be looking at the Black Set. The Black Set can be obtained as a drop from Emerald Knives Bandits, Shadow Spears Bandits, and Shadow Spears Juggernauts found in the desert. The Shadow Spears Bandits and Juggernauts can be found at the Invaded Barracks at the northeast corner of the desert, and the Emerald Knives Bandits can be found at a cave on the southeast of the desert where the desert and mesa meet. Coordinates for this cave are 1340, negative 1705. Which of these enemies you choose to farm does not matter much, as they can all drop the full set, but it is important to note that there are considerably more Shadow Spears bandits, so I recommend farming them as you don't have to wait around for more to spawn. Every piece of the black set requires level 33 to wear, but each piece requires a different amount of dexterity. The black cap requires 10 dexterity to wear and gives plus 195 health, plus 7 thunder defense, plus 4 dexterity, and between plus 8 and plus 34 main attack neutral damage. The black tunic requires 30 dexterity to wear, and gives plus 245 health, plus 7 thunder defense, minus 10 earth defense, plus 7 dexterity, between plus 13 and plus 55 neutral spell damage, and between plus 3% and plus 13% loot bonus. The black pants require 20 dexterity to wear, and give plus 220 health, plus 7 thunder defense, minus 10 earth defense, plus 5 dexterity, between plus 9 and plus 39 main attack neutral damage, and between plus 3% and plus 13% walk speed. The black boots require 13 dexterity to wear, and give plus 220 health, plus 7 thunder defense, minus 10 earth defense, plus 7 dexterity, plus 1 mana steal, and between plus 2% and plus 7% XP bonus. If two pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 2 dexterity, plus 5 main attack neutral damage, plus 15 neutral spell damage, and plus 1 mana steal is applied. If three pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 6 dexterity, plus 10 main attack neutral damage, plus 35 neutral spell damage, and plus 1 mana steal is applied. And if all four pieces of the set are worn, a set bonus of plus 20 dexterity, plus 70 main attack neutral damage, plus 65 neutral spell damage, and plus 3 mana steal is applied. Personally, I really like this set. It provides a large amount of dexterity, plus 43 in total, and also provides a large amount of main attack neutral damage, a max of plus 181, and neutral spell damage, a max of plus 120, when the full set is worn. This isn't ideal for all classes, and with this set being focused exclusively on dishing out raw damage, your particular weapon and playstyle might not work well with it. This set is also available only shortly after the Adventurer's set, and is typically not worth the swap for most classes. Assassin, however, is the class where this set really shines. This set in tandem with the level 39 Hasher Claw that you can buy from the Sandswept Tomb is really powerful. That weapon is already considered to be the best assassin weapon at its level, and this set complements it wonderfully by providing a ton of dexterity, a ton of added main attack neutral damage without sacrificing attack speed, adding neutral spell damage so the weapon can do a lot more damage with spells, and providing mana steal which allows you to make use of the weapon's super fast attack speed to recover mana to use with the spells that will now do considerably more damage. This set was made to be used with a weapon like this, and the Hasher Claw is the best example at this stage in the game. This set is not particularly difficult to acquire, but it is incredibly infuriating. Both of the bandit groups that are capable of dropping the set also drop a piece of the bandit set, the ring for the shadow spears and the bangle for the emerald knives. And they drop that set piece significantly more frequently than they drop any piece of this set. So you will have a full inventory of set items in a very short time, but most if not all of them will be for the wrong set. As an assassin main, I enjoy this combination enough to farm for the set if I can't find any of it on the market, and I urge other assassins to try it out as well. 